Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in this campaign in Noble Blues, the A Disease series, which we're playing as Eureka. But we gotta talk about going back to school because of learning from the past. If Eureka is going to remain a force to be reckoned with as Wasteland transitions to nations and empires, we're going to need guns. Heavy guns. Lots of heavy guns, but how? There are a few ideas worth exploring, but they divided the cabal that runs Eureka. Granite. Pushes for ties with Vault City, or perhaps with some friends out east. The poor masters were willing to cut a deal with the NCR, offering assistance to the OSI in exchange for subsidies to Shady Sands. And the regulators? They got an idea. The Shearer wants masters of scientific innovation, with plans for spaceships, new fuel sources, and more, but instead, their leadership fell under the sway of dueling dojos. While research computers but continues, the bright promise of the Shi is dim. Perhaps some of them would prefer a land where nobody is kung fu fighting. Thank you, Shady Sands. The NCR becomes less suspicious. You get double land doctrine bonuses. But that's not the route we probably want to go. Um, because we... Oh, probably close to that one, too. Uh, what do we have? So we're at... Where are we? 65%. And still sell some convoys. Work on our naval doctrine, even though it doesn't actually matter at all. But the NCR is... They're a little concerned. So that would be good. What is... What's a Chicago? More intellectual support and research slots. Or San Francisco is getting a little chaotic. Well, we'll probably go, what's a Chicago? So, let's go and offer some, some more equipment. So now they're unconcerned. Hallelujah. And we have another research slot. Beautiful. But we are expert salvagers, are we not? Uh, 200 years of keeping a technological civilization with only an oil rig, a series of military bases, and a glorious beacon of tomorrow's American Midwest uh, wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Good thing we got some experience then. They want a loan? Well, we need money for this, so we really can't spare much right now because this one costs... Does this thing cost anything? Oh. The doctor's in. We made contact with one of the Enclave's old physicians, Dr. Henry. This is uh, a great coup for the uh, Granite Company. Dr. Henry researched cybergenetics and before his departure proposed a radical theory that the Wastelanders were not, in fact, a separate species, but genetically human. Once the writer for assuming that the ability to in interbreed not identical DNA and sap sapiens indicated that the mainlanders were genetically salvageable, he now has use. In exchange for working for the Granite Company, we will pardon him for escaping. While well, I may quibble about being a found by an extraction squad. He can do a lot of good for the people of Navarro. And we're good and if we're truly villains, would we provide medical care to the families of those who support us? Such selfless heroism. Dr. Henry's now an advisor. Oh, not down here though. Compassionate doctor, do this war support more division better division attrition, more monthly population, which is okay. Uh, we're still here in Umbra because I'm with RMXB. And we're in the Who's land because they're also finding a royal, because I will really want to screw them up, and I wanted the money. And uh, who do we have here? Do that. There you go. Congratulations. And we're there. And we're in Silex. Oh, we're mostly just holding the line. Actually, these guys are kind of dumb. If you do that, you could probably do way better. But whatever. Because right now we have how much money? We have 227. Because I've been sending guys all over the place. And we're getting more army XP, which is nice. Especially for the divisions that could really use more experience. Urban planning is good, though. And factory output. Let's see. I want to get at least two cities back, if possible. Putting some roads up. Expert salvagers. Up next. I want to do this one. Because eventually I do want to do this, but I think it might be best to wait. Navarro Engineers. What is this one? Plasma Weaponry Schematics. Increase Suspicion. Because a lot of this just increases suspicion and whatnot. But I wouldn't mind going to war with them too. But if you do this one, you lose your ability to scavenge and still be unable to train your divisions. But do we really need to scavenge too much? We're not really scavenging at all. Because right now, what do we need? We need demo teams and spec ops equipment. 15 is spec, spec Ops, Support Equipment, Dubious Prospects, Spec Ops. I only get 15 Spec Ops right there, too. You get 70 there, but that costs quite a bit, so we'll do that one. There you go, War Propaganda. You know what, we got the political power for it. Do it anyways. Expert Salvagers. Um, scavenge Airplanes. Now that we understand airplanes, we can begin to focus our scavenging teams on uh, recovering pieces of them. Well, this be a slow and expensive process, especially considering the complexities of these crafts. Grab some of that too. And we have an intelligence agency. Nice. Oh, we're losing Kirby. Oh, no, not Kirby. Send in the special forces. Uh, just in case. There you go. There you go. Doesn't make any sense to do this. Probably not, but whatever. Good job, Power Armor. I know we could rely on you. Ooh, they're fighting at Port Mall. Ooh, actually, they're at war with each other. Um, we have any, oh, we do have a couple spare divisions. There. Hey, thanks for the caps. Because after that one, we're covering decrepit power armor. 
Our volunteers watch and they notice a widespread practice of discarding old or broken pieces of power armor. They begin to quietly scavenge that armor, potentially allowing it for its use in our own armies. Nice. Ah, they want out, don't they? But we say, nah, not today. Uh, army XP. Um, that doesn't really help us out too much. This will help us out more immediately. There we go. We invest uh, our gains too. Which would be nice. The wealth we've amassed is of little use if the sole purpose is to buy more equipment. Our people have risked their lives and wealth to fund mercenary expeditions. And we'll be sure to pay them for their generosity, of course. More defense? We can use that immediately. Brotherhood volunteers? This is garbage army? Okay, but well we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and uh, warm. Do this inspirational, that's good. We'll see how it all ends up in, in the end. Yes. Concerning is not good. 70% elites, people, rulers. I did that one too. Switch forces, looking a little better. Oh, you guys as well. There you go. So Alex volunteers, you are dying because I don't know why these guys are not attacking enough yet. Whatever. Modern sewage systems are good. And we're going to work on trying to get some more army XP. You've actually linked up, technically. I guess they were already linked up to begin with, but whatever. Recovering to equip power armor. Power armor training. Ooh, well, I want this one next. With our newfound stockpile of power armor, we must now turn to learning how to effectively deploy it in battle. Slower and heavier than previous weapons, mandating more extensive training for warriors who seek to use it. Nice. Creates a power armor division and unlocks the decision to raise them. Awesome. This one. Uh, requires everything up there, so. Tax and trade, huh? Super mutant threat. Uh, that'd be probably good to do. I guess we could probably do a new generation. Why not? What makes a man turn mercenary? Lust for gold, power, loyalty to a forgotten cause? Or perhaps he was with a heart of neutrality. With proper funding, we could, we could those in the wasteland who are willing to fight for any or all of these causes. Probably fun to wait for them to do so. How are we looking for money? Oh my god, Arroyo. Could you actually help beat him up? 245 is not bad. They're unconcerned. And that's a beautiful thing. White leg star walkers. A little bit more there. Alright, you're in. It's only 50 bucks, whatever. But well, we have that new decision, don't we? Massive scavenging. Uh, scavenge down planes. 15. Ooh. Let's do that one. I like planes. Our familiar equipment. So we don't have to do that because they're unconcerned right now, which is good. Uh, anything else? Could use a little more command power. Probably. Gary's conviction, nice. Yeah, I should help him out, why not? So some more convoys, yes please. Political actions. We're looking pretty good overall. So after that one, we still have other options here. Oh. Span of reach, uh Mercenaries report traders speaking of a variety of exotic tribes located upstream from recurrent outposts in Oregon's rivers. They talk of men who worship steam, force men to work with beasts, and unholy cannibals driven mad by ancient devices. This seems to be a prime business opportunity, and we fools pass it up, which we read about last time. I read this one too. And from north to south, our investments have begun to pay off. Our mercenaries have recently seen employment across the entire west coast, building a far stronger reputation uh, than we could have ever expected. Glory to Eureka. The apostles, my lurks. Uh huh. Paz bandits. Oh, we gotta wait till they get there. And, uh. So, you wanna do these as fast as you can, basically. Um, move some cats, get some army XP. I do wanna do this one, that stuff, though. Pilot procedure training. Now, do generation first, I guess. So, what about these? Has. Oh, Fancy Francis. Oh! You have to have one of these guys alive with us. Oh, okay. Super mutant industry. Cordell's dream. Olivia's pragmatism. Well, let's go and just choose this one first. 
I'll keep going. Hit and run. Love it. Actually, raise regulators divisions, shelled warriors, rapid response. Oh my god, yes. And the capital. That's what you want because the rapid response is uh, 20 count with power armor. You guys aren't killing each other. Oh, Troll Warren is at war. Can we send soldiers to the Troll Warren? Or Bone Dancers? Oh, I guess you guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, wow, they're really start, still attacking us. Siege of Hidden Valley, nice. Sell some more convoys, yes. Scavenge power armor. How much money do we have? Uh, yeah, why not? We should get some special forces stuff here, too, which we could always use. We have only 24, but still. Oh, what's this? Crowd control, sure. Let's throw that at the bottom. Maybe another gun. Dun dun. Beautiful. And we're there. So a new generation, but because we sent them, can we send anybody else here? Battle in the Muse. Oh! They'd be at war with these guys. Oh, well. They go to the Bone Dancers then. Um, a proper uniform. Repair power armor at the risk of uh, alienating or alerting the bear. Do you think that the X01 was once feared throughout California, and now we're reduced to whatever salvage we can still find? Still, with proper funding, we can hire salvages to augment reserves. Can't hurt, right? So now we can't salvage more stuff, which sucks. But we have that, so they're fine. They're totally okay with it. Let them struggle. I like the army XP, what can I say? Uh, begin scavenging program, I guess. Propaganda efforts. Probably don't need that for, for right now. I guess we built some air bases up here, too. No. Oh. Oh, I love coffee. I do not have a caffeine addiction. Um, let's see. Vacuum tubes. Radio. Ooh, yes, please. Oh, my God. Um, pale folk. Can we send volunteers? We can. Darn it. Badlands. Uh, let's come over here. Yeah, diplomacy, really. For us. Or... Diplomatic range, really. We're in green. NCR... Oh! Okay, we send them back to here. For... Friends in the Sun. Great Refugees. Mutants. Ah, Baha Bonanza. So they need it actually from us. Well, the Baha Peninsula might be the NCR's worst nightmare, but to a mercenary, this is a perfect breeding ground for cash. The bats are rolling in, and they're more than willing to send some more away in exchange for the support against a far more formidable foe. God dang it. Well, we can never send them to them because they're already so far away. And they don't have a port. They're so far away. So. What were we to do? Jackals. Anyone else? Fighting a war up here, maybe? We're up here in this region, too, but still. There you go. There you go. There you go. And... Which one do I want? I guess we went with this guy, so. Who's this? David Gorell. Bellings. Bad memories. Super Mutant Industry. What big arms they have. The better to lift heavy machinery and move it from place to place. Whatever our criticisms, it's clear they've been able to do far more than smooth skins would alone. Still unconcerned, so. Sounds good to me. How you doing, uh, Jack Shadow Churchill? Ah, oh, there we go. They died. 
gun virus. Fix it, Larson. Arcata becomes an economic node. Increase the NCR's position, Tama. Enclave manufacturing techniques. That sounds like the one we have to do. Hmm. This would be bad memories. That's not bad. Minus 12%. That's pretty good. Let's go and grab them anyways. 15. Nice. Very nice. Um, bad graph shipments. We want to deploy more proper military force with energy weapons. We need to still contact an outside supplier. Fortunately, the Van Graffs are already willing and able to meet our demands. As long as our enemies don't think of trading with the <clears throat> arms dealer, we will be unmatched in the wasteland. Use a few caps. That's all right. We're always spending caps here and there. I don't want to waste manpower by sending these guys over there. Uh, still for your buildings, huh? Cool. Elevators. I must be really pissing off a royal. They volunteers from the NCR, huh? You don't see any power armor up here, of course not. Coming hill spider mountain here. What more could you ask for? Oh, I guess we can't get any more caps that way from salvage and stuff. That sucks. Everyone are a guaranteed way of making money. Uh, no, I can't loan anything out at this point. Mutant threat. Oh, enable editing of all templates of this country and the training or disbanding units belonging to them. I think Eureka's but a band of pirates, scallywags, drunks, and horrors, perhaps, but it don't be so much more. The finest military force up for the West Coast come together to show the rest of the way some of what we can do. The future called us villains, the future we call us heroes. So we got one division here. Are you ready for the war against Umbra? Or the Packers. Yeah, the Packers. Not the Green Bay Packers, but the Packers nonetheless. There we go. Get those divisions back. And we'll get these divisions back here too. And get these divisions back here as well. That'd be nice. Drop by attackers are good. Too close to home. The quiet evening uh, was blasted awake uh, by an indescribable explosion in reporting Eureka. The fishermen, unloaded their boats after a long day of work, were killed almost instantly. A ship of mercs, returning home on leave and excited to see their families, were suddenly returned to the battlefields they had escaped, with many suffering grievous and fatal wounds. The initial horror began to be replaced by despair and then rage as responders found a sickly green murk spreading from nearby the site of the explosion, a clear sign that contaminants had been carefully included in the cellars of the explosion. That was no mistake or accident, this was an act of terror. Remember this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Power armor construction? It remains with expertise. Once our response efforts turned uh, from rescue to investigation, a number of disturbing factors became clear. First, this is no accident. <clears throat> the poor overseers have long been well aware of the Eureka port's importance to our city and would never allow dangerous materials to be stored there. Second, the attack had been carefully planned. We unable to find any solid leads or any evidence left behind, meaning the planners were professionals. One of our neighbors must be responsible for this, as the contaminants were no doubt deliberately included to damage a port between our two greatest threats, the NCR and Arroyo. There's one clear suspect. The NCR is far too preoccupied with Mojave to turn their attention to us, while Arroyo is practically searching for an excuse to march our, their armies into our territory. And they'll pay. And pay they will. Handsomely. With their lives. And they're still unconcerned. Okay, there goes Aaron Kimball. Nice. Offer salvage. Bribe them. Anyone else here? Not really. Let's go up here, anyways. Because once we leave, these guys will actually be able to wage war effectively. Huh. Go figure. I like the attack, but cost? Cost won't matter too much once we get everything done. Um, defense? We might need defense. And I'll honestly. Uh. I always use that type of person, though. 
I don't know who to choose. What's that survival training? That's what we're gonna choose. Oh, we can actually edit these divisions. Thank God. Okay, now. Praise the Lord. All right. So the mutant threat. The North are mutants, cannibals, and obviously satanic brotherhood, and the Can Canadarians. To properly to secure our perimeter, we must use control of the Packers and protect California. Plus, think of all the money a new trading route could bring. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So you guys, honestly, we're just gonna have like portmasters, twelve combo with true fishermen. Two fi fishermen would be better. We don't dogs though. Uh, metal breakers. We can go with metal breakers, maybe. Do we have any anti-tank in demos? Anti-tank? No demo companies though. Hmm. Why do we not have any demo companies? Um. Yeah, it's become metal breakers. There you go. And walking tanks. I'm concerned, which is good. War with a royal. A royal's horrific attack on us requires a response. For the first time since our port was overrun after the Great War, our people long for violence. Frenzied marchers dedicate themselves to a royal's destruction in our two nations. Draw closer to an inevitable conflict. Well, these don't even matter now since we can't even do anything here. So, we'll do this one. Can we do this? So, they're going to start attacking us now. They're actually attacking the Enclave Power Armor unit. That's interesting. We're going to get our divisions back and really try to consolidate them a lot more. Elevators are good. As long as we can hold, that's all that really matters, and get a little bit of daily army XP. Happy camp, huh? So these guys should be able to move in East Number finally. Alright, there we go. Alright, so you're here. Let's go, boys! Led by... Lieutenant Scott Blair. Game just triumph. Nice. They're still not concerned. Fantastic. I don't think we'll need uh, spec ops equipment, since we don't really have any more of it, so. Okay, get to the line. Come on. You need to hold your hand. This one? Why not? We need way more demo teams. Oh boy. Oh boy. We do that because these guys are at war too, and I don't want them to take anything from them. I mean, they should die in the end, anyways, regardless, but still. <sighs> New Vegas is under attack. Oh no, whatever will we do? That's right! Nothing! So I see you this way. So you move fast enough so you can split that division, maybe? That'd be smart to do. Yeah. Nice. Good job, guys. We're on the offensive. I love it. Um, start building up some of these two. Finally. 
fulfilling our dream. And we'll get onto it because we can. You dunderheads. What you doing over there? There you go. Happy camp. Public projects. Nice. There go them jackals. We have them all cord, which is, thank god. I thought we... For some reason, I thought we didn't have a cord. Ah, we got him. Beautiful. And we've expanded. Um... How much rider equipment do we have? Does this say how much we have? I don't think we have any. Yeah, we don't have any at all. We have a little bit of infantry equipment. Enclave auxiliaries, infantry template 3. 31st mechanized, that's cool. Ah, well, we still have militia, so we'll use, just use the militia. There you go. Alright, so that mind. Can we double dip? So, we need to find someone who's fighting the Troll Warren, uh, Apostles, or Marler Tribes. Timberline, Heaven's Gate, uh, High Chapel, Pacific Northwest. Fellow fighters, free fighters, hinted to soul. And we have Aslan. Okay, well, that's cool. I don't think anyone appears fighting each other just yet. Yeah, I know. I was kind of hanging out. Because well, at the end, I'll, I'll send the volunteers anyways, but still. Oh. You send one? Here. We're not going to send you our best. Ah, money! Are you guys fighting a war? No. Darn it. Um, that's a case. I kind of want to see the Royal get big so we have a big old fight with the Royal. But uh, hopefully we weaken them enough so they can't really do very much. But he can send them once. Or he can send them back to these guys. Can I send, send these guys? So one, two, or one, two. It doesn't matter in the end. Can you send one volunteer? Sure. Oh, beautiful. You gotta do what you gotta do to make money. They still don't. They still don't care that we've literally just got another nation north of us. Love it. We will need to kill all four ways though. Go and train though. That'd be good. Don't go We need more of anti-tank um, metal breakers. You already have anti-tank, which is actually decent. I'm gonna spend some army XP on you guys there. Oh, Ro asked for submission. Oh. A delegation from Arroyo have formally approached Portmaster Smith today, offering him an Eureka place in an Arroyo Confederation. Led by Arroyo itself, at the face value, this is an insulting question, of course. <clears throat> Especially considering our steadfast focus on remaining independent from subjugation. Um, after a further discussion, however, it seems that we have much to gain if we agree to the proposal. Arroyo is willing to invest heavily into our lands. They would allow us to maintain our mercenary army and grant us access to more fishing waters. If we choose to do choose to resist, we'll be forced to do so violently, simply. Declining the offer would lead to a steady erosion of our control, and an eventual de facto takeover. Our continued independence, there must be war. So basically to war now. Ah uh, well, Aurora's offer is reasonable. God dang, I just sent volunteers over there, because to do that thing. Come on, man. Bruh. Well, she offered a capture day. Eh? A little different. Yeah, let's go to people. Why not? Well, tax and trade. The answer never really tamed Navarro, but we could. A few roads to connect to settlements will increase trade, and with more trade comes more to tax. Because um, these rapid response divisions, which I love, 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 love. Cams and demo teams are not bad. Piercing is okay. I'm going to throw on anti tank anyways because we're going to need some anti tank for that stuff. And if we can, more. Um, Arroyo's over there. Uh, we do it like that, or we just do it like this. There you go. I would recommend getting there faster than later, sooner rather than later, please. March on the land, slaughter the villages. 
I guess we got the money. You find those enemy divisions. Why are they colored like that? Oh, he opened out down there already. There you go. Here, focus on the navy. Huh. And we're back in another war. Welcome home, guys. Beautiful. Metal working. San Francisco is a town of complicated feelings for many of us. The star pilot's children were expelled by the intolerant she will grant a company to believe the terrorist attack on the rig set sail from the ancient port. Perhaps it's time to pay our old friends a visit. Not learning enough, fast enough yet. At least in my opinion. It's fine, keep them there. It's fine. Come on. Are they actually where are they moving into? At least we got that tile up there. Because I want you to move in there so we can circle that division and kill it off. Um I want you to follow there and go to Crescent. Should really disrupt their lines a little bit. Go around him. It's fine. Y'all got time. Zeppelins are nice. Good. Um, chems? We are using chem companies, so why not? Nice. We got him. Keep him engaged, boys and girls. Oh, I don't want to risk it. Like that. You guys are doing fine enough. Let them just come in and around. Nice little guy coming home. Uh, let's go with. We want, I want this one. We have to go with Enclave Manufacturing Techniques. So I feel like we have to go with uh, Fixing Matching first. Since we can no longer rely on scavenging to build up our arm, we must promote local development. First steps are refurbish the old uh, Carson Mansion, a palatial Victorian home, and that quarters for a little town. I'll be right there. I want you all to hold. Get where you need to be. Nice. And we're pure. I feel like we just have to go. Even though we're fighting the hills, but now that's for later. Uh, they got Crescent back, which is not good. Oh, you guys can just help kill these guys off immediately now. You might as well. Unconcerned. Okay. Follower demand demilitarization. Well, that's nice. Sign from the front. Uh, war support, please. Exploration for technology. How many caps we got? We got enough. Go ahead. Good! Now I can spread more divisions this way. I should have really let them take East and Abra, haven't shouldn't I? Or we can just fix it up off screen probably. Um, I'm gonna go right, right, left. Fix up old town. Eureka once had a charming downtown which was the center of the commerce and industry. Some proper innovations could have again and then enclave manufacturing techniques. Navarro and the Rig were much like us in some ways, considered they had to manufacture advanced equipment with little more than the resources of Navarro and the Rig. Perhaps their instructions could be applied here as well. Uh, of course, the NCR would not be happy. But who gives a crap about the NCR? Oh, now they're bleeding civil war. Oh boy, that's not good for the, us. Bull's been broken. Go figure. Let's go here. See what you can do about that.
I guess we could go have gone up here too, but we have more divisions this way around here. Are we out of power armor? Demo, power armor, yeah. Makes sense. Medical degrees are nice. Resistance growth speed, more daily political power, I guess. Why not? If you got it, why not use it? We've lost, what, 218 versus 802? It's not bad. Frequency analysis is good. More research speed is always good, too. And then we're going to come here. No, here, no, here, no, yes. There you go. Beautiful. Go in. Mm, no, you don't. Rate of detection, rate of oh, radar detection, and yeah. Very nice. Cultural experts, get these guys on the line. Sediment protection, probably use that one eventually too. Runs in the blood, oh, I want to choose someone we never get, so. Old waves, new days. Runs in blood. I like that one. Especially for the base. But if we play Eureka again, I'll probably want Cap. Last word. Um, mine equipment for Redding. While we lack the manpower needed to mine the lands around Navarro, and frankly, uh, not sure if there are any resources, Redding might be willing to use our engineers. For the right price, of course. So we ain't going to do a general attack. We're going to start doing this. Here to here. Lead with the power armor. Beautiful. And then the ultimate firepower. There's nothing quite as emblematic of the Enclave's success as the Plasma Cannon, and a long last workshop to Navarro can turn out those weapons once again. Beautiful. Delicious. Scrumptious, even. Nice. Oh, ahead of time, huh? Well, okay. There you go. Kill them all off. Yes, several sediments. That's why I wanted them. We can help us build these sediments, and we're running out of manpower. That's not good. Okay. Good to know. Sure, 100%, why not? And with this, I'm going to throw you three over here, actually. You go right there, and just douse them that way. Oh, the concern now... Oh, we'll do the cheaper ones. There you go. Nice. Centralization... Passive caps income, that'd be nice. Train penalty reductions. More immediate manpower? Sure. I love the population. Totally do. Here, keep it in place. There you go. There you go, nice. And they go bye bye. Reading's contracts. It looks like whatever Aaron Kimball thinks, Reading's industrials and mining conglomerates are glad to hire us. In a way, these fools will sell us for all we use to hang them with. Or actually, they'll use plasma grenades instead. Nice! Didn't either immediately, but that's all right. Get them all on the line. And we do all that. Can you just go for a royal? Like, wherever you're at. And let, just lead and let the infantry just follow. Spanish just triumph. Nice. Let go with that. Um, just in case. Oh, 142, huh? Oh, old world political guide. Yeah, get some more manpower. We're going to need it. Look at that. Oh. Just go up, 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 up. Happy December. Pole, pole, arroyo. Nice. Oh, we want crescent and sixes. Nope, we're taking it all. Including the Navy. Which there isn't very much one, so I don't know if we can get those tiles too, because if not, I'll just use Consumand or something. We honestly deserve them. Beautiful.
It won't take too long to take him out. And whose land as well, maybe? The last word. Rest easy, brave soldiers. After 30 years, we've avenged your death. Now we must decide the fate of no a royal's enemy non-combatants. Well, 0 0.05. Ooh. Nice stuff. We gotta go plaza. Plaza? Plasma. Good. 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 We helped you out for as long as we could. Let's go ahead. Should be fine. And more intensive agriculture. Because why not? Oh, they're forcing the defense. Oh, boy. Well, that's good for grinding out army XP, I guess. Especially when they literally run out of men to fight with. There you go. Help them out. Who's land? New Klamath, huh? Oh, Marlick tribes. Oh, we can wait. We can send a volunteer over there, probably. Anything for a buck. So what was that focus like? Oh, I forgot to do that one. Oh, I can still do that one, too? Oh, okay. Um... So if you send the Marlurks, and you can choose which one is the war with one. Uh, the Marlurks were once the greatest threat to Yuka's survival, yet we can now count the representatives among our employers. And as odd as this may seem to many of our warriors, including Fort Master Smith, the circumstances to the north are far different from what uh, ours once were. Hey! Oh, I'll get the trade note nice. Good stuff, man, good stuff. Payment received. Love it. Airborne assaults, and we're going to lose even more manpower because of that. God dang it. Concerned, huh? Here you go. No, they don't care. Go and train. The divisions are not bad. They're not great. I'm not using them. Um, I guess it makes more sense for us to use Enclave Auxiliaries, but oh well. Metal Breakers for now, Port Masters, whatever. Spec Ops now. Um, sweet victory. Our joyous wastelanders, the <clears throat> arsonist of Oriole is dead. No longer will he sell your loved ones to the den slave pits or ship jet throughout Reno. No longer will he shoot rangers and drug dealers, but what do we do with their principality of pestilence? One option, although granted, like all good Americans, opposed to slavery. The 13th Amendment makes clear that forced labor by criminal is by criminals is legal. And leaving aside several decades of unpaid taxes, these monsters destroy the rig. They kill the president. We would be justified to sell them into slavery and use the proceeds to rebuild America. But perhaps that is wrong. With a well chosen one had to die for his crimes. Grant is not going to judge an entire people for how they treated him as a child. One cannot hug a child with nuclear arms, offering self rule to a royal under the Granite Company's protection. Respecting the religious beliefs and showing clemency, are these not American ideals? Perhaps, but America died with the rig, and now Granite has, can make sure that its murderers die too. For slavery is just and for profitable. Uh, do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Simplify, muties. Oh, heck yeah, of course. Heck yeah. And then we'll do Battle in the Mutants. Left unchecked, the Mutants, the Troll Warren, uh, might be the greatest threat to human survival in Oregon. We might benefit from studying their tactics firsthand, but that risk is far too great to take. Battling against them will be enough. Who would I rather take out? Honestly, I'd probably rather, rather take out the Myrlurks. I don't like fighting these guys. But we can only send one division, so. And I only send them a crappy infantry division. Uh, they're not that crappy. They're, they're decent. They're not great, though. Concern. <clears throat> Beautiful. Ninety one. There you go. Anyone else we can send volunteers to? Um, there's a lot of people down here. Holy crap! I can send them back to Enta. Why not? Ah, thanks for the money. The fertilizer, nice. Don't need as much now. There goes the lock. Treasure trope, nice. And we'll do battle on the mutants. Out of time. I guess we can do that one.
Oh, so this one links up here down here. Oh, we need a lot of air XP for that one then. Oh god. So we need more planes. Okay, interesting. Well, give us time. We're friends in the sun. Sure, wow. It's warm down here. The tropical paradise and sprawling villas betray a despotic rulership in the Henta del Sol, but also symbolize the wealth available to us here. El Generalissimo is more than willing to pay for our service, and there are certainly worse places to fight. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to need to make more normal divisions then. Uh, let's come back to it. Is it still four after I did that? Yeah, it is. Okay. Couldn't come up with. Definitely. Alright. Uh, shell. You still gain, and our friends down there. Manufactories are nice. Grab that anyways. Unconcerned. Good, good, good. Resource wise, we're looking very good on everything. Um, oh. Oh, god dang it. Bro. Open for business. Oh. With the capture of Max Sack, we need to figure out what to do with the place. It used to be. used to turn a shiny cap after all. Gunrunner deals. A direct source of weapons is now accessible for our forces. Perhaps we can persuade the gunners to set up shop here? Yeah, probably. Come on. Alright, so with that in mind, we can just go to war ourselves. I'm still gonna go to war with she, so. Nice. About five days left. Plenty of political power. Ah, sure, why not? New Vegas joined Kazo's Legion. Go figure. Bad Cops Academy. Oh, state funded radio programming. It's not bad. But I always forget to do this. Maintenance. Oh, chem teams. Some fire teams on them. Good for defense. There you go. Here, help out here. Oh, you're. Help out here too. Why not? Need a little more air XP, perhaps? No? Okay. Oh, okay. Because I can't reach it. Capture the warren. Uh, pilot training procedures. Besides the need for the equipment itself, we're in desperate need of training pilots on how to use it. Um, sadly, few in Eureka had any knowledge of planes a few months ago, making suits, uh, finding suitable instructors difficult. I suppose I'll have to imp improvise. Nice. Or send them more stuff for more money. If we're doing that, we might as well do that twice. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm not going to send you. I'm going to send an actual power armor division this time. Nice. Very good. About break up the muties. 100% is good. Go down here. Nice, 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 nice. Awesome. So hopefully now we can do this one and open for business too. So we'll do this one first, if possible. And I shouldn't be at peace anytime soon. Oh god, New Reno's dead. Well, okay then. Cass, best blimps. Let's use that one then. Healing powder's nice. We already have some chem teams on our guys. Maintenance is okay, it's not bad. Mm, frag grenades. Oh, yeah. Explosive. Love them explosive. 
more power armor than you needed to. And triplane attackers, of course. Oh, we do have doggos, though. Huh. Oh, we got a crap ton of infantry armor. There we go. Scorched Earth, non core manpower goes down. Breaking soft stack's good, though. Unconcerned. So we're looking okay. We got a lot of ways, or a lot of. Oh, wait, they. What? They flip back. There's Benny's here. Oh. Helios Malrus. Fantasticus. Huh. Let's go. I haven't seen that guy before. Nice. We got that one dead finally. Um, open for business. I'm going to send volunteers to you too, huh? There you go. There you go. Nice. You all seem like you're in the thick of it. I want you to go right here. Go, 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 and you're done, go harder. Girl detective, good. Sure, why not? Good, and... Go this one. Oh, god dang it, come on. Contacts lost. Come on, cyber school is good. Fellow fighters. Seems that we found some like minded friends in the Free Fighters, a group of wrestling obsessed masked men. They are certainly odd, but really, who isn't? Our relationship with them is growing quickly when they can make excellent partners in the future. Clear abandoned airports. Most of the nearby airports date from the before the Great War and have become infested with all types of vermin or littered with serious debris. Clearing and renovating these spaces will allow our scavenged planes to be launched from there. Money makes the world go round. Yes, it does. The justice system uh, offers many opportunities for the financially motivated. Some motley fools uh, commit crimes and make money. Otherwise, though, you know, make money by holding crooks. I uh, enter a Mac Sec, which took convicts from across the waste for a reasonable price. Produced from Mac Sec can range from. Our produce can range from uh, rare minerals to rewired circuitry, but largely fall under the general guise of crafted metal components. These materials are then exported to the various nations, concerning Maxec of healthy profit. New management, however, poses new uses for the prisoners. The portmasters prefer to stick with the tried and true. The hypologists have noted the empty sky up here in the mountains, offering a chance to gaze upon the heavens, turning this into a pilgrimage for their god. And Grin and Company, well, they've got some ideas from an old pre-war place, Camp Turtle Dove. Business is booming, or business is business, turning and. Impetus hands to pious acts, gains favor of the stars. Execute order 990066 can only be improved upon. It's ripe. 100% ripe. Alright, anything else around here that we really care about? Uh, Sin Rescue Team, that'd probably be decent to do. Battle Caps Economy. Yes, it's fine to do, because we're actually making enough money now. And it's with uh, these guys here, with the Royo. We're gonna trade it out. And to New Reno. Sounds good to me. Oh, oh, there goes the Sons of Kaiser. Goodbye, Sons of Kaiser. Fellow fighters, and then we'll probably go to war with the She then. What are we doing over here? Are we holding out? Can they pierce us? Oh, yeah. That's not ideal. Can we heal fighters? Good. Outsider volunteers? I uh, kind of want to go with no outsiders, but we'll see. Tanks, cars, trucks. Motorized. Uh, we'll go with tanks. And then clear abandoned airports. 
Actually, since we're here, we're going to start doing... Uh, there, there you go. Do both those, because we're going to need some serious air power here. Good. Barrage balloons. Nice. Biplane fighters. Good. Good. And... Yeah, you know, just go down to one. You know all those materials right now, anyways. All right, come over here, civilized deck, grab that heavy capacity stuff. Sure. And can't get too much more for Alpha. Let's grab some of this too, real quick. Get them ready to go, and we should be good. Barrage balloons, totally. Oh, now we're out of scrap. Oh, that's not good. Get the she here. It's gonna be causing us more problems, and we need to invade or have the NCR invade us. Yeah, our future. Nice. Airborne volunteers. Uh, now that we have a rudimentary system of power, air power established, we can begin to lease our planes to the clans along with the ground army. How are we doing up here? Doing okay? Then board, board, birds. We're gonna go to war anyways. They immediately start attacking us, which is fine. Oh, whoa, 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 oh crap, oh I didn't realize it. Oh, they're part of the NCR. God dang it, oh that sucks. Oh, that's gonna really suck for us. Oh my god, they have so many, so many divisions all over the place. Oh, well, we might actually have to wait a little longer for that then. My bad. I should have realized that before. Whoopsie. But we'll do a lot of these things. Improve uh, plane functionality. There we go. Our scavenge planes tend to uh, very wildly in quality. Uh, Serving some basic standard between them will allow our pilots to switch between planes easier, therefore decreasing the time it takes to train new ones or run combat operations. Construct additional runways. The runways that we were able to restore from before the Great War are quickly becoming short on space. But a more should alleviate this issue and should their, their simple nature should make it easier. It's literally just flat land. How hard is that? Ensure trained pilots. Our mercenaries may have a fearsome reputation abroad, but our pilots certainly do not. Notorious for their mistakes and accidents, many believe that they have a higher friendly fire count than enemy accounts. So all this is unacceptable. Take pilot input. Um, our pilots may have a poor reputation, but they understand the inner workings of a plan better than almost anybody. Having a designer seriously consider their input can lead to future breakthroughs in the area, and then the sky's the limit. It's been a decade since Enclave took to the sky, but we can still find those who love to fly. And with control of Navarro, we can once again build Jurder birds. Truthfully, there's no good joy than being in a cockpit. And then back in black, hopefully. Uh, well, many of the soldiers joined the Granite Company hoping to get a suit of our power armor. These fools failed to understand just how difficult it is to make X01 suits. The Granite Company simply did not have the industrial capacity to do that. Or mercenary group, not a state. Control of the Royal's resources, however, opens up wonderful opportunities. Which we can't get, quite get to. And as much as I want to do these, and these guys are great, um, it's going to take some time for all that. So, honestly, from here on out, we're probably just going to push north and fight that way. But I didn't do any of this stuff. So, let's say we were going to do guns quickly. It only makes sense, but again, by reforming our approach to scavenging infantry weapons, the backbone of our army. We can either prioritize scavenging a large amount each trip, to, or scavenging them quickly. Uh, rapid repair. Much of the support equipment that our scavengers find on their hunts is considered too broken down to be used. Most of the time, they're right, but that doesn't mean that we should always be discarding it immediately. Alternatively, teaching the scavengers to perform repairs in the field can decrease the time it takes to raise new support equipment. Scavenger general. Every now and then, uh, a particular scavenger shows great skill or courage in the face of danger. One of them in particular, an enigmatic figure who refers to himself only as Scavenger 51, has shown impressive leadership capabilities. A promotion might be in order. Makes you power armor. Finding complete uh, usable suits of power armor is nearly impossible outside the Brotherhood of Battlefields. Instead, piecing together broken down shells and raw materials could lead to a greater returning under scavenging runs. And spare tires. Few know how motor, our scavengers manage to repair centuries-old motor vehicles. Sometimes it's questionable whether they know it themselves. Either way, we can instruct them to use clever tricks to produce vehicles quicker or create backup systems to produce more. But I think we're going to end it there for now and go back... Oh, can't get gas weaponry. Um, and uh, make sure we don't go to war with the NCR too early. Because honestly, we're just going to start pushing north, the Apostles, through the Troll War, which will open up our uh, borders a lot more. Marlux tribes, Washington Brotherhood, just so we can get more territory and we can make a much ma massive army. But... If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. See what else we can do with Eureka. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.